hello guys it's prize welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new on this channel and you like what i'm doing please kindly subscribe and if you click on this video leave me a thumbs up turn on that bell so that you know anytime that i'll be uploading why are you looking at me like that <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> so i've been rachel i've been here with my sister she's always saying things like oh in kenya it used to be like this in kenya it was the most recent she said when i say again who doesn't know kiswahili i just wonder so Today, you remember what you said when you see a person that says no Kiswahili, you wonder? Like, I wonder how blank I used to be. Like, how flat my head used to be with Kiswahili. Ah! Because I visited a friend and then she spoke Kiswahili and was broken from the beginning. So I was like, hey, hey, hey. So this is how I used to sound. <laughs> so yeah, it's a broken Kiswahili for me. Like, that's why I was like, so this, what I wonder is, how I used to sound <coughs> like that from Kiswahili. I so mean, I, would, I, would, I used not to speak. I'll just keep quiet. So today I have invited Rachel's, Rachel again and again. And of course, you know, I always invite her. So today I want her to tell me those good things about Kenya so that she gives them to us in one video and we get to know them. Okay, are you ready for the good things about Kenya? Today we're talking about good things about Kenya, maybe. In the next video, we may talk about bad things. Are you ready for the bad things, Kenyans? Me, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about them. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to say anything, mm, anything yes, bad so about no, Kenyans? Kenyans are very patriotic, so I rather reserve my bad. Wow. But they are good. The highest percentage is they are good. But the bad, I cannot start here and start saying stuff, no. You can't say stuff you think they will come for you? Why you don't say bad things about Kenyans if they are facts? Not, no need. All yeah. right, let me save her because she seems to be struggling. So, so let me make see. her, let me to say bad things. Okay, let me make her life easy. We are going to talk about good things about Kenya. So I'm going to hand you the mic and you take it you from there. the mic because the way I'm seated. Huh? Huh. Okay, like we, it day. was so, oh, yesterday there was too much rain. So today we are just fixed in a corner to be able to make this video. I hope the lighting is okay. Give us those good things about Kenya. You we were there for two years. I'm feeling vibe and vibes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> now she's wondering what's that. It's a song. Ah, take it from there, girl. No, they have a vibe. I like the vibe in Kenya. Those guys are lively. You can never get bored around a Kenyan. Unless they're there who are just reserved in their space. You wonder if they're Kenyans. But a real, real Kenyan, the vibe. They have a good the vibe. The vibe. So we don't have that vibe here in Uganda. Like, what do you mean? Like, we are too too conservative. Like, anything. We're, there's too much conservativeness in Uganda. They don't let themselves... Express. Express. They're not expressive. <coughs> they express, but not the way Kenyans. Kenyans. Hey. <laughs> All right. By the way, I didn't know about that. Mm, they have a good vibe. They have a very good vibe. Energy. Yes. Positive. Yes. What about the negative? Ah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Rachel. Sure for giving and us that. Okay. Next. They are very hardworking, and they are. They know how to express uh, themselves and uh, impress very fast. If they put a Kenyan here and a Ugandan here, my friend, a Ugandan will not even say anything. He will be <laughs> shut. No, I'm being honest on this. I'm not trying to hype them up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, even my previous company where I was working, Kenyans were so many in higher positions than, than any other African country. Yeah. African country in terms of, uh, okay, East Africa. Let me say East Africa. Let me say East Africa. Don't tell me Morocco, Egypt, because those are those are those are African countries. So let <coughs> me say East Africa. When it, when it comes to East Africa, Kenyans are, Kenyans are more out there. They can easily take that job when you're looking, and you might have more knowledge. But the way this guy or this lady is gonna sell them out, we we'll just kick you out of the game. Okay, where well, you're working, Kenyans were. Well, by the way, but I think they are sharp. They will go from down. You know that you, you know like in Qatar, you cannot change a company. But yeah, I remember, smart. but I remember 
those Kenyans, Kenyans used to change company yeah. even six months they'll be like me I cannot stay in this company six months probation is over yeah this thing yeah, go, and, and you, you, you would, would be working with Kenyans and then they leave. You call them, hey, you, where are you? I changed the company, I'm in another company, a better mm-hmm. company. So you they see? They know how to maneuver. Yes, they know how to maneuver with life. And you know why? But f- mm-hmm. It's risky. They, they are let go early in life. Like you see, we can be under one roof with our parents and all. In Kenya... 17, 18, these guys already have jobs. They're out there working, what, what, studying. I, like, you know, they are let go from their parents early. It's not a good thing. I wouldn't but recommend But in Uganda, that. even a 50-year-old is still staying with the parents. Yeah, <laughs> let's say that. Let's, no, let's not push it to 50, but we tend to stay under our parents' roof for, <coughs> for so long. long. And then you find yeah, you're, you're, you're in your parents' house. And then it makes you irresponsible, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. But Kenyans, they are let go out very fast. But then it's the culture back in, in our country. They tend to keep you pr- inside. Like they don't let children go fast. They just keep them around for as long as they want and as yeah, long as my child my child experience. i don't want my child to go oh my god i still want my <laughs> child <laughs> at 20 my child 23 my child yeah. 25 my child yeah. <laughs> that's uganda but kenya 15 yeah, years old when are you getting a job like the, you don't, they don't even have to ask them mm. okay their minds were are faster in terms of what can i do because their country is more developed. So when they grow up, this is what they see. So by the time they are 15, 16, 17, what they see is what they want to do. But for us, you know, we are kind of <coughs> laid back and we take things a little bit slower. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And then wow, I think I like, I've been out, like going out in Kenya and I've gone out in Uganda, but not that much in Uganda. I think I like going out in Kenya. I don't know. Oh, I thought that section we are Kawa Ugandans were, were good, good. No, but that then, section party party. But then <laughs> yeah, party party. But <laughs> then Kenyans love. I mean, believe that Ugandans party more than Kenyans. Yes. But me, I don't know why I don't feel the vibe of Uganda. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Ugandans are so much in people's businesses. My God. <laughs> they have too much of this and I feel I feel like some people are so if they don't talk about you they don't feel good but, but I thought Kenyans, that's like everywhere Kenyans mind their business I don't know but Kenyans mind their business most of the times <sighs> we need um, to do a video what you love about Uganda because now we are giving Kenyans almost everything no of course if, I, if you ask me about Uganda I will give you <coughs> All what right, yeah I will, I will but that one. even if you sp- even if we call momo right now we tell yeah, her we're doing the video and we ask her she's in kenya yes, she's we ask her in kenya yes yeah if you are to put a percentage who minds more of their business kenya ugandans kenyans mind their business ugandans <laughs> they will if you're not in your business they will not sleep <laughs> <laughs> no in what category of business in all category, in all in all, in all good things about kenya let's go because of exposure in kenya kenyans are very much exposed that's why if you're to talk about when jobs <coughs> went down until today jobs are really really down kenyans got up faster to join youtube and you find people that were even having jobs and maybe they still have a job somewhere but they diverted to youtube they kind of understood youtube concept and how it works and they got on it but it will take a long time for ugandans you know you, we even took a long time with masks with uh, this <laughs> lockdown kenya opened schools opened everywhere uganda was still like you know our children our children, yeah, our children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so kenya we, ugandans are more protective kenyans they are less but protective say, you know, and yeah i think this goes like to uh, back in history because you know for us you have the same, you know, same government, so same things. Mm. So because for them, they are getting different presidents, different yeah, minds, different, different minds. Uh, what? Ideas. Ideas. So like, I think that's why. Yeah. But for us, we are constant. Seven, yeah. seven, 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 se
Mm, seven. Peace, we have peace, peace. Yeah, <laughs> I used to say, me as long as we have peace, but now there are things that have to change. Yeah, really. So I think really that's why we give like most things to Kenyans. Like not it's in a so way praising yeah, them, no. but like me, I facts. You, it's facts. Me, anything wrong I would say. Anything right I would say. And then Kenyans, eh, Kenyans are like the education system. It's they, expensive they, in terms of uh, right now. It's expensive mm. because uh, I saw a bill of a child and I was like, why? But they have up to form four. Then from form four they go to like university. They don't complicate things. They are very simple. They don't complicate but a child's not. life. Like to go to school but to they suffer. Have P8. Start- we don't have P8. Class eight. <laughs> Class eight. <laughs> Look at this Ugandan. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Okay. It's more, it has, it has a little bit uh, <coughs> brought in that kind of advanced, not advanced. They have borrowed ideas that help the co-curriculum of the country and the education system, let me say. Of the country, not to waste time. Like, if you know that I'm good in acting, divert me to arts. Yeah, the drama what what yes now it's what's working like yeah. if yes now they do practical things but it's expensive but i think also okay, uganda also we have started that whichever that i think i had <laughs> i had that something like that started stop teaching us napoleon bon appetit uh, like those things are <coughs> just a wastage of time like we studied them and then what yeah, like me from the time I graduated, I not I just did in turn in t- in line with my job, and that's it. From there, I'm just doing s- other things. Like they don't even connect with my job. I mean, with the with the with what I studied. Yeah, so I think Kenyans are more open to receiving. Uh, I think it's because of the way their political system is. So they are able to change things here and there every time they they wish to after the terms <coughs> are done if you get five years and five years that you cannot get back in and and this time round people are tired they don't want chaos they are more peaceful they have accepted but that for us you put two times after two times you, you force you, you, you force you forever change. so what do you mean like they change you two times after yeah, two times then you change. want to stay then now they just change but can you i think they will come for you if you uh, no, you, you can't <laughs> <laughs> kenyans the way they are they are they have been from way back there are things you don't do in their country and they and if you've grown with them you will know that here no it's a no now in uganda you know that if you do this uh you'll you'll get through so almost everyone knows his people and even in Kenya, their presidents know their people like they cannot do. But at least now, you see the pressure that was on <coughs> for elections. Mm. They knew that they cannot alter those results, because they were just they were like, now we are going to go like ten years or twenty years back. How are we going to revive this country? We already have enough problems. <laughs> <laughs> I think they sat down and they were like, you know what? Let this man go home and let's just keep peace, because they know their people. But Museven, ho ho. And That's Ruto will, and if, even if Ruto came, okay, at least only two times maximum, and he will go and, and another person. Uh, so you see, that's how it's been. But here, you see, when the the son has already declared himself that, that the people love him and blah, you cannot say such things in Kenya. So I think uh, that's our main. And imagine if he if, if he becomes a Kenya, if if he becomes a president, whichever if if he is to be a president, all these things he he has said about Kenya, how will he look like? Like some of these things. Anyway, we are just, <laughs> we are just we are are dog. <laughs> now we have uh, added Ugandan problems. So now <laughs> <laughs> we, just um, off topic. we just went off topic. So, so I think we let's, yeah. let's end this from here. It should be nice and short. Yeah, their education, their politics, their vibe, their aggressiveness. Their aggressiveness. If they are go-getters, if they need something, you don't tell them anything. They will do it. And I have so many Ugandans watching me too. Please don't get annoyed because I'm going to bring you another video. This will be about good things about Uganda. I think you should host Chris about good things in Uganda. I haven't been in Uganda for long. So I still have that mentality of ten, almost 10 years ago <coughs> about Uganda. 
Okay, I will be bringing a different guest who has been in Uganda and has never left Uganda. Krisha Chronicles will be my me- next guest on good things about Uganda, okay? Or yeah. maybe if I get you a Kenyan friend. You have I have Kenya. I feel like I need to go to Kenya. Like, just to move around and visit because this chick is praising Kenya. Like, I need to go there and see by myself. <laughs> and then you need to... You've been with those people with Kenyans. I have Kenyan friends back in Qatar. How do you feel they are? I don't know. I think me have met. I think they are different characters. Actually, let me send greetings. Around me. <laughs> <laughs> now I send greetings to my Kenyan friends. Fidelis Wamboy, uh-huh. uh, Mary, uh-huh. uh, Duncan. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. The Charles. Uh-huh. Fia, this guy who is quite him. Felix. Felix. Uh-huh. Rose. I did a, 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 a video with Rose. She was there, a Raila sup- she was a Ruto, sup- Ruto supporter, then she was like, if Raila becomes the president, I'm no longer a Kenyan. Then finally Ruto won, and she was like, today my name is Ruto, and she was very happy. Rose, I send you greetings, you're in live in Qatar, you know, you watch this video. I actually have so many, many Kenyan friends compared to Ugandan friends. Even me, I connected with so many Kenyan friends. I still had Ugandan friends, like it was 50-50. Wow, so I think we have to end this video here. It's been a great vibe talking about Kenya. And this is Rachel's show. If I'm not connected to and Rachel's I'm show, vibe on vibe. Kenyans, please connect to Rachel's show. Connect to Rachel's show. This one, she's sending your country positively. And we need to know stuff about yes. Kenya. Yes. So we have to close this video. Thank you let's so go, much. Let's go. Let's go. I'm trying to. What's that? Bona, bona. <laughs>